and yeah. just being out here now, how does, how does the shoulder feel? I mean, uh, shoulder, shoulder feels great, um, a lot better than I expected it to, uh, to be. Um, and honestly, I was just, you know, from the first day to now, I feel like I've been, you know, getting better every single day, you know, improving just a little bit and just, I'm honestly just having fun. You know, I haven't been able to hit somebody in about eight months, so, you know, I remember that first hit I had in the inside on uh, on Thursday. I was like, okay, we're back now. So uh, I've had a fun time, and my, my shoulder's feeling pretty good. Who was, was that on like the other Ryan end of that one? Pardon? Who was on the other end of that hit? Uh, I think it was Ron Dales. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to get a little lower on that, that first hit, but I was like, okay, let's go. What were you saying? Was it like riding a bike? A uh, little, little bit, some of it. And then uh, other things, you know, just like just got picking back up, you know, just shaking the rust off, um, really. And like I said, each day I've just been getting better. As you're studying, doing all that, getting back to, to good health and all that, you're studying your playbook. What are the biggest challenges? I think, I think I've been, you know, because I've been able to ask questions and you know, talk to my teammates, talk to the coaches. You know, it hasn't been too much of a challenge picking up the playbook. Of course, there are some things that you know that may be difficult or whatnot, and you know, there were some I did make some mistakes in practice. But you know, with that, just as long as you don't don't make it a second time, and you know, you learn from those mistakes. Um, so it hasn't been really difficult, but, you know, because I've been able to have great teammates and great coaches, um, I've been able to pick up the playbook pretty well. You've got some time in the spring as well, just working on some stuff. Absolutely. You know, um, I was, I was, I mean, I was dressed up full pads. I just didn't do any teammate inside. I was working ND on the side. I was doing mental reps and whatnot. So, um, you know, I was being able to do, go through the playbook then is, you know, paying major dividends now. You've been, you obviously played at Stanford. Oh, I mean, you've got a weekend to have fall camp here. here. Can you kind of accentuate uh, some differences that you've seen from Stanford and your local I gotta say, uh, that, that first practice, even with the spiders on, it was like we were full pads. I mean, it was, and that's a, you know, um, a little, little bit of a difference, I gotta say, from when we were at Stanford, because, uh, it's, it's, you know, and, uh, in terms of just talking about difference, it's a little bit more intense in terms of how, how you know, the defense and the offense were getting after it. And I really love that, you know, because it's really setting the tone of how we want the rest of the season to go to. Um, and, you know, I just, you know, each and every day, it's like we're, we're not getting a lot of reps. But, like, Coach Venables is doing it, so, like, we're protecting our bodies. But each rep, we're acting like it's a game rep. Like, this is, like, the final, you know, play of a game. And because we're acting like that, I feel like, you know, we're just, we're just getting better, and that's, you know, it's better than just doing more and just, you know, taking, taking out our body. Has the group come together? Has the offensive line come together? I think it's been, you know, coming together really well. I mean, uh, in the, uh, overall, you know, we're, especially with the, with the ones group, you know, really connecting with one another. Um, and I'm loving working with Savion on, on the left side um, and really just re performing a great relationship with one another. Um, you know, some of the things, some of the stuff we're doing is nonverbal because we just, we're already feeling it. It's already instinctive. Um, so I'm just feeling, I'm feeling great. And then, you know, we got Jake Taylor and we get, hopefully get Ty back soon. I'm um, looking forward to that. And Rain has been a great leader and so is McCade. And so, and everyone else, you know, from the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, everyone's really been hard at work. What in your reaction the last two days about uh, learning what's going on at Pac-12? Oh yeah, no, I feel very confident. I mean, that's. I think it's. I think it's unfortunate. Uh, what's going on because I do um, despite you know I left the Pac-12 I still think it's a great conference and I think it's just sad that you know there's you know it's like from rivalries you're not going to it's not going to be it's not going to be the same like Pac-12 after dark that was a real thing I used to watch that growing up and then I was a part of it I won some games in Pac-12 after dark you know some of those traditions and whatnot it's just it's not going to be the same and I really hope that you know they can figure stuff out um, you know, because also moving away from just football, that stuff is year round, and you know, you got people going from East Coast to West Coast and thinking about school and whatnot. So, really paying attention to you know, how that's going to affect the other athletes. I just, you know, it's, it's exciting, but at the same time, it's like, like, damn, like, excuse my language, sorry, but like, dang, like, what's, you know, what's going to happen to other athletes and whatnot. Have you communicated with some of your old teammates about uh, I don't really what's know. next for them next year? Uh, I'm talking a little bit, not not too much. Um, you know, I was thinking about actually reaching out um, today, but we have like a group chat, we have like a transfer group chat, and then like, like online group chat from last year with the old, some of the guys who are still at Stanford. Um, and, you know, there's just like, we can only just, you know, you just, just got to focus on right now, you know? Um, and so that's all I can, you know, I wish them the best of luck, though. Talk of course. about the, the ones, the guys on that, that starting front. The experience they have, in what ways does that help you just settle into your spot when you've got guys who played there before? And in the I, it's, uh, I think, uh, I forget exactly, one of the coaches who was talking about uh, just having that trust, you know, like, you know, even though Savion, he didn't um, start, you know, last year, he's still able to get in some games, still really knowledgeable about the game of football, and just being able to just, as we, we've we been able to grow each and every practice, and just with Rain, McCade, and Taylor, and when Ty comes back, just, 
having that trust with that everyone knows what we're doing. And if we do mess up, we will hold each other accountable and make us make ourselves better for the next play and the next practice. Um, and just, you know, overall, having that experience with McCade and Andrew as well, it's just been great. It's not like we're all just new coming off the ball, we're all freshmen or whatnot. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's been great. And I can bounce ideas off of one another, and they can, like, correct me on something where I can tell them it's this, and they can ask me questions, I can ask them questions. So it's really, it's really great. It's, it's, it's awesome. You talk about saving